Welcome to the first tutorial video for learning how to use the Doc Client SDK. Doc is a blockchain built using Substrate to facilitate the use of the Verifiable Credentials Data Model 1.0 compliant documents, creating and managing W3C spec compliant DIDs and more. The Client SDK contains a library and a set of tools to interact with the Doc chain and also perform other things such as verifying and issuing credentials. There is a prerequisite for this tutorials and that is that we will be running our own local development node. Instructions to do this can be found at the doc network slash doc substrate GitHub repository. Um, please note that you don't always need a node to use the SDK, but for the purpose of this tutorials, we will be. Um, once you have followed the readme instructions on the GitHub page, you are able to proceed. So now that I have run through the instructions on the doc substrate repository. I'm just going to spin up my own local development node here. And now we can see that that's running. We're gonna go over to our tutorials directory here. And you can see that I've created a little project here. It's just got Babel and allows us to run MPX uh, so that we can use ES6 from the command line here. Um, this is optional, you can just use Node.js uh, standard if you like. So to begin, we're going to install the doc network client SDK using yarn. So we just install the doc network slash SDK package and we wait for that. While that's um, downloading, we can go ahead and create our project structure here. So for this first tutorial, I'm gonna call it intro. Just create a folder called intro and a new file index.js <clears throat> here is where we'll be putting our code for this tutorial okay so we can see that it's installed now so now we are ready to begin using our library we will be using node.js with Babel for ES6 support in these tutorials however the same code should work in browsers once it's been transpiled um, so to begin with we'll import the doc SDK here so import doc from dot network SDK. There are other exports and other files you can import from, but um, right now all we need is access to the default export, which is an instance of the doc API class. Um, this will allow us to connect to a node, load certain modules for us, and send transactions. So here we're going to import some shared variables. Import address, secret URI from shared constants. Um, this is a file at the root directory here. It's simply exporting the address, which is the WebSocket address for the node we're connecting to. For the purposes of these tutorials, that would be localhost 9944, which is the default substrate RPC port. And the secret URI, this is a seed for the Alice account on the dev chain. Okay. Now we're ready to connect to a node. So we will do so by defining an asynchronous function called connect to node and in this method we're going to call doc dot init and supply the address in the initialization arguments and print to console that we have connected and ready to go so this is a promise that we will be connected to the node if the connection fails for any reason it will throw an error instead so in your application, you'll probably want to uh, write a try-catch handler around that. Um, but for these tutorials, it's fine since it's just using command line. So we're going to save this file and we're going to run the tutorial. It compiles, no errors, so now we're going to call the method. We can see here, using a non-secure endpoint warning, that's fine. Um, and we've connected, great. Can see I've got my node running here still and I'm just going to cancel this application so we've connected to a node um, that's great but we also need to learn about how to create an account why in order to write to the chain we will need to set an account um, we can perform read operations with no account but for these tutorials we will need one accounts can be generated using the doc keyring object like so doc doc keyring dot add from Yuri. And we're going to use secret Yuri, which is Alice. And then we can simply print our account address here. Run the tutorial again. Uh, 
Great, so you can see we've imported our account and this is the public address. Accounts can be imported through multiple methods. Uh, for here, we've used Yuri. We can use mnemonic phrases and raw seeds. Uh, see the polka.js keyring documentation for more information on this as the doc.keyring object is simply an instance of the polka.js keyring. We do rely on this library under the hood quite a bit, so it would be useful to learn the basics. Um, it's not completely necessary though, we do try to abstract as much as we can. So in order to send transactions on the chain, we will need to set an account for our API instance. So we'll say doc dot set account account. And that's it. Um, if we were to try and send a transaction now, it would sign it with the Alice address and we it would probably succeed uh, given that Alice already has balance by default. If you'd like to use your own custom account, that's fine. You can do so by changing the secret here and ensuring that it's got balance on chain. That concludes the introductory tutorial for being able to simply use the SDK and we will expand further um, and demonstrate the actual features in later videos. Mm -hmm.